you doing welcome back to my channel if this is your first time being here you're most definitely welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check out my old videos because I know you're going to like them in this video I will be showing you and telling you how to protect and store your designers luxury or your bags in general and if this is something you're interested in keep on watching so if you're a woman or a lady like myself then you definitely have one or two bags in your closet you need to take care of those bags so they can last you a long time in my last video I talked about investing in good bags and if you've invested in those good bags you want to know how to take care of them you want to know how to use them you want to know how to get the most value out of them basically that is what this video is basically going to be about how you can invest in your bag and also use it and get the most value out of it so it can last you longer and also give you a value for your money and so in case you want to resell it in future or something like that you can always do that saying that i would like to make a video on tips on how to resell your bags don't forget to comment down below if you would like to see a video like that so here are some tips that can help your bag stand the test of time the first one is to keep them clean you have to keep your bags very clean take care of your bag the same way you take care of anything of high value that you own you should know that the way you take care of your bag determines how fast it's going to tarnish or how fast it's going to last you whenever you're about to pack your bag consider the contents you're going to put in your bag for instance you don't put things like ink pen and all that directly into your bag if you want to care for your bag and want your bag to last longer then try to avoid things like water or anything of liquid like juice and pen anything basically that you know it's going to ruin your bag like points your bag and ruin that very precious bag of yours try to keep those things out of your bag try to keep your bag clean biscuits cookies like we can go on and on on things that are likely going to like make your bag very dirty thereby easy to wear and tear try to get a bag insert a bag insert is something like if i see a picture i'll put it on the screen a uh, bag insert is something very small that you can actually put your bag in uh, put your items or your precious items like your lipstick your pen um, you can put them in those bag inserts they're actually very good and they also help in also retaining the shape of your bag as well so if you don't want to use my method where i talked about using a book and all that you can actually use those bag inserts to store those stuff rather than putting them directly into your luxury or expensive bag with doing this little thing you're actually saving your bag from lots of accidents that could occur, like your ink could actually spill and ruin your bag or even your lipstick could stain your bag and then it will require you to wash or clean the bag which will actually bring liquid close to the bag and gonna make the bag get tarnished <laughs> basically so when you want your bag to last longer you have to maintain its shape you want your bag to last you for a long time you have to know how to maintain its shape and as i said in my previous video there are lots of ways you can maintain the shape of your bag because no one likes an out of shape bag so if your bag is smooshed if it's strudgy if it's stretched if it's not just looking the same way it was when it came out of the store out of the bag then it is not going to look luxurious even if it's a luxurious bag so what you can do is you can invest in things as i said earlier you can invest in a filler uh, you can invest in something like bubble wraps you can put those stuff into your bags you can even pile up like non-perfumed white tissue and you can put a lot of stuff like that you can put things like fillers you can put things like bag inserts those work really great you can put in bubble wraps you can put in a lot of stuff just to retain it as i said another diy that i do most times is putting in a book a pair of magazine or a book that tends to help me maintain the shape of my bag if I don't have an insert or if I don't have a filler for my bag. So those are the things you can do. And for your chain strap, like bags that have chain strap, another thing you can do is you can also wrap those chains with um, tissue paper that tends to stop it from tarnishing or from rusting or from even changing its color. So yeah, another way you can make your bag last longer is you can maintain it by doing these things i've just said in this step so with that being said let's go to the next 
tea to cover up your luxury or your expensive or your designer bags your bags came in a dust bag i'm very sure every bag comes in a dust bag even if it's not a luxury bag even if it's not a designer bag i'm sure they came in a dust bag and you must have thrown that dust bag outside but it's fine even if you don't have a dust bag where you can put your bags and protect them from things like dust and the weather and everything you can also get a pillowcase like a very good cotton pillowcase or something and you put your bag inside that pillowcase and you store them and make sure that the pillowcase you're using is white because if you use a colored pillowcase then you're going to transfer that color into your bag and vice versa and that is not uh, making your bag look good either so try to use a white cotton um, pillowcase that's a little DIY that you can use to store your bag um, if you don't have the dust bag that it bag came in. Another tip I have for you is closet etiquette, like putting your bags in the closet, making them look very clean and well organized in the closet. That tends to help your bag last longer as well. So if you can't afford to get a closet, you can use the, the tips we talked about above, which is putting them into your the pillowcase or even the dust bag that came with the bag but if you can afford a closet and you have one then arrange your bag in your closet that tends to help the bag you can also put them into the original boxes that the bags came in and put them in your closet stack them there try not to join two bags or two boxes together because that tends to also shrink the bag and make it lose its shape so arrange your bag in your closet organize it like you can see my bags are not there anymore but when I used to have lots of bag hair I arrange my bag in my closet I display them like that and they look very beautiful at the same time I'm trying to store them what I'm trying to say is just display your bag in your closet don't just pack them and put into a wardrobe and close them because they are going to shrink and lose its shape another tip I have for you as well is air your bags out regularly especially if you're in a country that is very hot like I'm in Africa here in Nigeria and the weather here is very hot we don't have winter like we literally don't have winter here in Nigeria so your bag tends to tarnish faster than someone who is outside Nigeria or in a climate or in a country where the climate is more cool or the temperature is cooler so you have to work extremely hard to secure or to protect your luxury bag if you're in Nigeria so how do you do that you try to air your bags as often as possible as I said I always air my bags here sometimes I bring them here like now they are not here like just one or two is here but most times I air my bag in this closet behind me and with that I'm trying to let air touch them because I realized that I learned the hard way guys I realized that when I used to put my bag into my closet and just close it and I don't let air touch it like into my wardrobe and I close it and don't let air touch it it tends to peel so I brought them out I try not to pile them together I try not to join one or two bags together space them as much as you can or you can even put on the AC in your room and just keep your bag there for like an hour or so cool you know because these leathers are actually real leather actually when you buy luxury bag or very expensive bag they are real leather so they need a uh, they need very cool environments once in a while so bring down your bags and let them cool and yeah it's investing in a silicon treatment i'm very sure that if you got a bag or if you buy a bag no matter how cheap that bag is there is a silicon gel like something it is i'm going to put something on the screen here so you see what i'm talking about every bag has that stuff but we tend to throw it away actually me i tend to throw that away because i have kids i wouldn't want my kids to pick it and put it in their mouth so whenever i buy anything a bag a shoe a jacket those things tend to come with the packaging and i throw them away very fast because as i said it's not very edible and it's not healthy to eat because it's very dangerous chemicals so my kids put things in their mouth you know kids so because of that i throw mine away but if you have yours and you don't have kids it's something you can invest in if you don't have it already put them in your bag those silicone gels they help to keep your bag and also investing in dehumidifiers so if you can invest in dehumidifiers they are very good not just for your bag for your jackets for your, for your shoes for your clothes invest in those things if you can it's supposed to be good for you as well not just all your bags yeah as i said this video is going to be very short those are my tips that i have for you that can help make your bag last longer protecting your bag and helping you store your bag so they last longer if you have any tip that i haven't mentioned in this video leave it down in the comment section so share your tips down in the comment section and if you've watched up to this extent and you haven't subscribed subscribe go watch my old videos 
until i see you guys in my next one bye